The purpose of the first couple of videos in this course are to remind you of some common mathematical and calculation approaches to solve simple problems. And in this case, in this video, what we're going to first think about and remind you of is the order of operation. Okay? So this becomes really, really important when we start getting into some problems that involve multiple calculations, whether it's addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. Okay, so what's important to remember is that multiplication and division processes always have priority over, so they're greater than, addition and subtraction processes. So multiplication and division always get preference. Okay? Um, Let's do a couple problems and see an example of how order of operation becomes important. So in a problem like 1 plus 2 divided by 4, okay, what might be really, really tempting is to put into your calculator 1 plus 2 divided by 4, because that's the way that we say this, 1 plus 2 divided by 4. But in this case, because the division has priority, over multi, uh, addition and subtraction, then what your calculator will first do is 2 divided by 4, which is 1 half, and then add on 1 to this. So the answer you'll get is 1.5. And that's incorrect, because what this calculation is actually asking us to do is to take 1 plus 2 on the top here in our numerator and divide it by 4. So this answer should actually be 0.75. So the order of operation is important. The way that you set up your calculation is critical to getting the correct answer. Let's see another example. So in this case, we have 4 divided by 1 plus 2. Okay, so again, you can set this up incorrectly if you plug things directly into your calculator without giving it a little bit of thought. So if you were to put this into your calculator exactly the way that um, you say it, then the answer will end up being incorrect. 4 divided by 1 plus 2. This is telling your calculator to take 4 divided by 1 first, which is 4 plus 2, so overall that gives us 6. And that's not correct. What is correct is 4 divided by 1 plus 2, which is 3, to give us 1.33. Okay, so again, order of operation is important. Let's see another example. If we have 10 divided by 8 times 2, okay, the incorrect way of doing this would be 10 divided by 8 times 2. So in this case, we would do 10 divided by 8 first, which is 1.25 and then your calculator would take 1.25 times 2, which gives us 2.5. This is not the correct approach. Instead, what we should do is take 10 divided by 8 times 2, which is 16. So ultimately, this gives us a correct answer of 0 0.625. So the quiz that you just took is my way of assessing whether you have successfully mastered this material. If you got all the questions correct, then you'll be able to see the next lecture pop up in Blackboard. If you didn't, I encourage you to re-watch this video and try again.